ways. Um, uh, uh, is there, a, uh, uh, you know, what are the initial reactions coming out of Pakistan? Will Will General Parvez Musharraf get a state funeral? Will there be state mourning uh, in Pakistan? Will there be ceremonials? Can you throw some light on that, Ovis? Well, I would like to throw some light on that, but the, um, the, the, the adjectives that you've been using in your description of President, uh, the former President Musharraf and the way he uh, orchestrated the Kargil war and the way he was uh, a villain for India and for Pakistan and for the world. And I'm, I'm sorry that this is going a bit too far. Now, you see, um, as we discussed um, a little bit earlier, that when it comes to the relationship between Pakistan and India, we all know that it's complicated. And for mm -hmm. us, Mohammed Ali Jinnah is the greatest hero. For you, he might be a villain. For for us, Gandhi might. We won't uh, talk about uh, Gandhi in, in always, a way. Where is it? Always, always, so, your country uh, didn't even claim your soldiers. Your country didn't claim your soldiers. Can you let me, no, I, I'll let you speak. I'm just saying your country didn't even claim your soldiers. They had to be buried on Indian soil. This is a man who, after demitting office, had to leave and run away from your country. And you're saying, and you're saying he's not a villain. You have your own. You have your own narrative. Yes, it's not a narrative. It's not a narrative. You you may have something. To, you you may need to say some things. I understand that as a Pakistani journalist, always. But the fact is, he was a villain. I'm, what I am saying is that he was clear when it comes to his actions and his of ideology. Of course, of course. It was clear that if you take one step for peace, we will take ten steps for peace. If you want war, we are ready for war. And he didn't do that. How his, and he, this is what he uh, spoke about and this is what he said and this is what he did the whole of his life. When it comes to India, we all remember that whenever he spoke about India, he... he was always talking about peace and war both. So it's not a one-sided affair when it comes to his narrative. But it, when it comes to the state, mm. state funeral, the, the news is yet to come. Uh, the government is yet to decide as to yeah. what will be. And obviously it depends on his immediate family. As far as my personal opinion goes, obviously he is a Pakistani. He was a Pakistani. Uh, yeah, yeah. He was the leader of the country, and he was a proud soldier, a gentleman soldier. And uh, I don't think there will be any issues if his family wants uh, to get him buried in Pakistan. We would welcome that, mm. obviously. He was a Pakistani, yeah. a Pakistani president, so there's no problem in that. Okay. D uh, uh, always one final question: uh, uh, What kind of legacy does does General Mush Musharraf enjoy? within the Pakistan, uh, you know, within the Pakistan army, if I could ask you that, uh, you know, does he still have a, you know, a stellar reputation? Has it become complicated? How has it become in the years, you know, with reflection, with hindsight, etc.? Can you throw some light on that? Well, uh, it, uh, when it comes to Pakistan army and their relationship with, with the Vedu Sharaf, Pakistan army people have always revered him as one of their yeah. um, leaders. And, um, uh, he, he was always, whenever you talk to any army person, I, I speak to former army uh, people a lot of times and they speak well about him. So, so there's no question, there's no doubt about his reputation and his relationship with the Pakistan army. Uh, the fact that he was not in Pakistan, obviously it was due to political reasons as Mr. Fawad Chaudhary mentioned, but yes. he was not well. His... Uh, um, the treatment was going on in uh, in the UAE. He came back to Pakistan. He formed a political party also. The political party is still active. So, so it's not uh, something that um, Pakistanis have completely forgotten about him and the relationship between Pakistan and Musharraf is nowhere. Uh, so that's, that's not the case. The, the army person and the people, they speak well about him.